Papa Bursley, I'm so glad to have you a part of Ponder This. You say, but you say that a lot. Well, I mean it a lot. <laughs> it's a joy to teach, preach the Word of God, even though I'm taking only four or five minutes. All right? It's still a joy to do this. I don't have to. I don't have to do this. I do it because I want to be a blessing. I want to just drop a seed inside of you because it's going to produce fruit. I believe that with all of my heart because the Bible says whatever you sow, you're going to reap. All right? So somebody's going to reap something. All right. So that, 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 that's why I do this. I pray that you're being blessed. Let's get into my thought. The word some are preaching and teaching to, today is nothing more than a diluted version of what God has said. The results are visible in that we are seeing produce produced in a debilitated church that offers people nothing more than a country club environment of feel-good moments. Sadly, salvation, healing, the miraculous, deliverance, or hope of coming out of the stifling life of bondage they live in is a message that has been relegated to the past. What? Ever happened to the truth that says Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever? What a tremendous thought to ponder. Some of what is coming out of the mouths of men and women supposedly of God today is nothing but a feel-good speech. Even some of them do not call it preaching anymore. They call it motivational talks. The church has become the house of motivation, not the house of salvation, not the house of sanctification. It seems to be the primary goal of many to produce a message that makes you feel good in your flesh. I'm going to be honest with you. The Word of God doesn't always make your flesh feel like jumping up and down. The Word of God will correct you when you need to be corrected. The Word of God will tell you you're messing up when you mess up. The Word of God will lead you to the foot of the cross. The Word of God will remind you that the blood will never lose its power. The Word of God will remind you that there's a, a hell to shun and a heaven to gain. The Word of God will remind you that there is not but one way out of this life that's worthy, worthy of consideration. And that way is through Jesus Christ himself. So hear me, if you're a preacher or a pastor, if you know one or have one, if people are going to give you their time, if they're going to give you their time, give them something that makes it worth it. And friend, I'm here to tell you, if it's not, not backed by the book, it's not worth it. If you're not preaching a gospel about salvation, sanctification, righteousness, divine healing, the miraculous power of God, uh, holiness, then you're not preaching the word of God. You say, but pastor, that, that, that's what they used to be. That, you know, the words change. God is, is tweaked it to, to where it fits society today. No God hadn't twisted it. Some lukewarm backslid preacher has twisted it around and tweaked it to, to fit flesh. You better hear this preacher. Brother, God won't change the word to fit you. You change to fit the word. That's the only way you're going to go to heaven. I know that's kind of straight. I, 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 you know, I started to say I don't want to disturb you, but hey, I don't really care whether it disturbs you or not when it comes to the truth because it's truth that sets you free. You need to break out of that bondage and become what God's called you to become. Ponder that. Ponder that. Jesus Christ, how did I, how did I close that? He's the same yesterday, today, and forever, which means every word in this book is the same. Live by it, die by it, and you'll go to heaven by it. Ponder it. 
God bless you. Goodbye. Tomorrow, I'll be back.